So today I want to show you the new addition to the Surge XT collection that just got an update and became even better, which is really amazing since this collection is already very high quality. But let's go through the different editions and I would like to start with the Unison module. This module will allow you to use the Unison mode available on Surge XT VCOs with other oscillators and it has also a sort of a twist of its own. Right, so this is how it will work with the classic VCO for example. Right, I can choose the number of voices of unison. Right, they will be also spread in the stereo field. Right, I can choose the amount of detune. There is also wider detune or extended detune. Right, if I go to three voices, I can create a chord even. Right, so now we can have this also for other VCOs, not just the ones from Surge XT. Right, and the only limitation here is that the VCO you're using has to be polyphonic. Now, if you are using a sequencer like I'm doing here, I'm using the LFO envelope generator as a sequencer, you will need to send the pitch into the volt per octave input of the Unison module. Right, this one here. Also, the oscillator will go to the VCO input. In this case, I will use a triangle wave. And now, as soon as I connect the volt per octave back to the oscillator, we will get multiple copies of this VCO with the help of polyphony, and we can detune each copy. Right, so the volt per octave output will go back to the VCO. You see, we have one in, one voices. If I bring this to two. We have unison of two voices, which I can detune. Right, and again also here we have extended unison. Right, so I can also create a chord. Right, so again this is how you will set it up. Right, the pitch from your sequencer will go to the unison module. The oscillator will go to the VCO input and from the volt per octave output you will send this back to the oscillator. Right, so here I have a bass. Let me unmute this. One, two, three. Right, phrase sequencer sequencing the VCV VCO. There is some delay. There is a sub bass with another VCO. Right, and the Unison module here I'm also using, it has built-in low cut and high cut. Right, so it has also a built-in filter which is quite cool. Right, I'm also modulating the filter here a bit with the quad LFO. Here we have also, it's called the character filter that will just change the sound a bit. So for example, I can go with warm. Right, and you can see I have five voices of polyphony a bit detuned. Right, another great feature here is the drift function. This one here, it's also available on the Surge XT oscillator, so now you can use this also with other VCOs. Right, this will basically add a bit of movement to the pitch of each of the voices, so the oscillators will drift from one another. Right, this will add this uh, analog feel, if you will. Right, let me mute this for a second. Now you might ask yourself why we have multiple VCO inputs and multiple volt per octave outputs. Right, so let me show you. Here I have chords, I have here the progress sequencer, sequencing dark energy. Right, going through a filter and there is some modulation here to sound like this. Right, now this voice is already polyphonic. I'm using here again chords, three note chords. Right, so we already have polyphony of three voices. And here I'm using unison with five voices of unison. Right, so we have for each voice, we have five copies, which means that all in all we have 15 voices, right? If we have a look at the cable here, you can see we have 15 channels of polyphony, three from the chords, five from the unison for each note, for each voice. Right, so we have all in all 15 channels. 
Now in VCV, one polyphonic cable can have up to 16 channels maximum, right? So if I uh, add another voice on the unison that we have six voices of unison, right, we should have now 18 voices three times six, but you can see here it says too many voices because again, we can have only up to 16 channels in one cable. And this is exactly why we have more inputs and outputs. So basically we need to use more VCOs. Now you can use the same VCO over and over. In this case, I could use another uh, copy of Dark Energy, but it can also be fun to mix other VCOs for more variation, right? So in this case, I will use Blick from Vult, right? The oscillator itself will go to the second output here on Unison and the volt per octave will go from the second output back to the second voice. Right, and now we have here 16 channels for the first voice for dark energy. And to complete these to 18 voices, we have here two more channels of polyphony to bleak. And now I can even add more voices, for example, go up to nine. So again, we have three po uh, polyphonic channels from the chords, nine voices. Right, so we have all in all, we have 27 voices of polyphony. Right? The first dark energy will play 16 of them and to complete this bleak will now play 11 more copies or 11 more channels of course detuned from one another right now this doesn't end here actually because now we have 27 voices but the modulation i have here for example for the vcf has only three voices. Again, from the chords, we get three voices. You can see this from the LFO. We have only three voices, which means that only the first three voices of the 16 voices from Dark Energy are being modulated, right? But now I will show you the expander. There is the Unison CV expander. Just have to be on the right of the Unison module. You can see connected three in, which means three voices, three channels of polyphony going in and nine voices of unison. And this will basically create copies of the modulation so we can use them with the unison voices, right? So what we have to do, we send our modulation to the expander, in this case, the LFO, right? And then VCO1 will go back to the filter. And now we have 16 channels, right? And all 16 voices will be modulated and VCO2 will go, I can modulate, for example, the pulse width here. Right, so now we have enough channels of modulation as well. Let me bring back the bass here. Maybe it's a bit too much drift. All we need here is a nice ARP. I have here the ARP sec from Vox Glitch, sequencing the FM operator. Also here I'm using Unison to make the sound a bit thicker. Another addition I want to show you is Nimbus. This is basically another version of Mutable Instruments Clouds, but in my opinion, much more user-friendly, and it has also a VCV twist to it. So here I have a sequence going with the classic VCO. I have the Slips Sequencer sequencing it. It will sound like this. Right, it's already going through Nimbus, but for now it's not doing anything. Um, I often use the looping delay mode on clouds or nimbus in this case right so i will change this if i take the mix all the way up i'm going to set this to a lower quality change the delay time here with the position add some spread add a bit of reverb diffusion all the way up so the sound is nice and diffused right a bit more feedback then change the mix. Right, so it adds a nice texture to everything. 
I can also use a random gate to gate the freezing function here. Right, I have here chances from count modular. Basically, I can use this as a random gate. Right, something like this. I can use the quad LFO to modulate the size of the grains when they are frozen. Get a bit more variation. Right, something like this. But again, there is a twist here with Nimbus, and that's the fact that it is polyphonic. Let me mute this for a second, I will show you exactly what I mean. Right, when I say it's polyphonic, I don't mean just that it will work with polyphonic signals, but also that all of its functions are polyphonic. So you can have different settings for each voice. Here, for example, I have the Twist VCO, which is also based on a mutable instrument module called PLETS or the Macro Oscillator 2. I'm using here the note sequencer from JW to generate four note chords, so I get four voices of polyphony. Right, this is already going through Nimbus. I'm using here the granulizer mode or the, the default mode, which will generate grains. But in this case, I have the density all the way down, so it's not generating anything, right? There is no sound. But I have here some polyphonic modulation coming from the quad LFO. So again, we have four voices of polyphony. Each voice will get different um, modulation settings, which is already quite nice. And I have here also the Polycon 8 module from Bog Audio, this one here. Right, this will allow me to send offset, different offset to each of the voices. You can see I have here four voices on, which means that each voice I can use with different settings, in this case, different density settings. So for example, the first voice can have just a bit of density, of random density. Right, the second voice can be more rhythmic if I turn this to the left. Right, the third voice also rhythmic, but with a different rhythm. Right, so already we have three voices. Each voice has different settings, also different modulation here, as you can see coming from the quad LFO. And the fourth voice, right, so we have basically four copies or four instances of Nimbus in one in this case. Right, this is with the original what we had before. And I will add also a base to this with the modern VCO. Another interesting module that was added is Bonsai, which is a beautiful tape distortion effect. Here I have a chord with two sine VCOs. Right, by the way, I'm mixing them with a new version of the Surge Mixer, which is actually exactly the same, but just it has sliders instead of knobs. Right, it will sound like this. Right, this is of course going through Bonsai, so let me start adding Bonsai and listen to how much it will add to the sound. Mix all the way up. Right, I can add some input gain. I can add some noise. I change the sound here. The dullness of the sound. Change this maybe to normal. Pull the mids, add saturation. Listen to this, this is so nice. Bit of bass boost. Right, you can really hear how much it adds to the sound. I have here also a bass phrase sequencer sequencing the classic VCO. I have here the VCV VCO as a sub bass. Right, 
right as a baseline and if you follow me follow my channel follow my music you know how much i love sending voices through a reverb and after the reverb send them into distortion here i have exactly this again the phrase sequencer sequencing in this case the fm2 vco going through plateau and then to bonsai so let me start adding bonsai here and we'll first unmute this right and listen to what it's doing to the sound module that was added in this update is the continuous XOR module which can be a really fun sound design tool here I have for example two classic VCOs right they are being sequenced by the phrase sequencer and one is tuned to G one is tuned to C so they are also differently tuned and I can combine them in all sorts of ways with the CXOR module right so I will connect both of them where we have here left and right let me come out from this output here right and left and right right from for now we have ring modulation which will sound like this but there are other algorithms here that you can choose from right you can just click and drag also this is a nice one This one is nice. Right, so again, you can combine audio like this and create all sorts of different results. Right, but ring modulation is basically amplitude modulation. So when you are using slower signals, you can get also a tremolo-like effect. Right, so in this case, I will use really the lower section. Right, the result from here will go to the left and right of the lower section. And now I will use just two LFOs instead of an audio rate signal. Right, so basically they will modulate the amplitude. And you get a nice movement in the stereo field. Right, I have here also a bass, a sub bass with a sine oscillator here from Bog Audio. Right now, by the way, also the original ring modulator module got an update, right? This one here. Now we can use also external signals, right? So here I have a sequence. Let me solo this. This is the sequence slips, mod, uh, sequencing the sine VCO. Right now, if I start bringing in the ring modulator here, this is what you will get. This one has built in waves that you can choose from and also unison. Right, you can change the frequency, change the waves. And you get all sorts of weird results. But again, we can also now, after this update, use external sources. So here I have two VCOs, the VCV VCOs. Again, they are tuned differently just to get a nice result. So I will use them as a modulation source. Right, this is without, this is with. I can modulate the mix maybe with a sequencer here.
One last thing I want to show you is the new connection feature. For example, I have here the sine VCO that I would like to connect to the mixer. So if I right click the outputs, right, I can directly send it to the mixer choosing the channel and the color of the cables, right? So if I want to send this to mixer input one with red cables, I just click this and it will make the connection for me. This will work also with modules in the same row. Right, so if for example I want to connect the mixer to the filter, you can see they are not next to one another, this can be even more further away. Right, so I want to connect the mixer to the filter, I right click the outputs, I go to this row and then I have VCF input, let's say I want this is a green cable. Right, so it will make this connection, I can do the same with the delay, right, from the filter, this row, I can go either back right to the mixer, there are two more channels on the mixer, or go to the delay, let's say, with the yellow cable. Right, this is just, uh, just making the workflow a bit better, and this will work also with the mind meld mixer. So if from the delay, I wanna go to the mixer, I right click it, you can see we have mix master or expander. I can choose the channel, I can choose the color, let's say blue for the first channel. So this is a really nice workflow improvement and that was it. You can see there's lots to explore. As I said before, this collection just keeps getting better and better. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Cheers.